and welcome back. Today we're joined by Mark Warburton, who is actually a Clear Center Regional Partner of a company named Proji Pro, who is a service provider, and he is the CEO of that company. We'd like you to just kind of understand his raw perspective of using Clear OS in lieu of some of the other manufacturers that he may have been standardized on, and what that means for his profitability, for his team members, and ultimately for his customers. So Mark, are you making money with Clear OS? I am making money. I'm making uh, a lot better margins than I used to, to be honest with you. <clears throat> like I say, we're a regional partnership. We have customers all over the West. We have customers up in New York and in different areas like that. And we support a lot of customers. But I want to talk about one customer in particular that we've worked with. And they had a need point at that point in time. For them, it was 2013 when they were looking to do an upgrade. And I was brought in as a consultant at the time. And we were talking about just going down the same old road they've always gone down and replace their Microsoft hardware or software and then Cisco routers and hardware. And we came in at that time with an alternate solution. At that time, it was new to us as well, but we'd have been playing with it. We've been installing it. We've seen that there was hundreds of thousands of installations worldwide. So we had a pretty good feel that it was a credible product. <clears throat> as further we got into it, we realized not only can you make money on ClearOS, you can make money on retainers, consulting, and maintaining the network once it's installed. Uh, the issue we had at Clear, or excuse me, the issue we had at Trizon was they uh, had a budget, and our budget came in about twenty to thirty thousand dollars less than their budget. So automatically they liked the number, but now they needed to be uh, taught that it was still a stable system. And at that point, we did a lab, we did a, like a demo for them, and we played with it, and they got to see it and feel it. And it, as they got more into it, they realized this was a very stable product for them. So we replaced their entire infrastructure with one box and the operating system. So we took it in basically a full rack and came in with one one new server. And we were able to accomplish the same exact thing. And then and it even grew from there because they wanted high availability at the time. So we put another one box in there. So now we have two running in redundant pair and one's high availability mode in case of an issue. We also took advantage of the multi-WAN circuit because they were a call center, or they are a call center, running 24-7, 20 hours a day. So they really have no time for any downtime at all. And what we've seen internally for us as a partner, how the ROA works for us is we have less engineers. We don't have to have a Cisco engineer, a Microsoft engineer, a Barracuda engineer, a content filter guy. We basically have one guy that has an engineering background that has a Linux background that can basically monitor and operate that entire system for them. So it's been very, very advantageous for us and the customer. That's awesome. I don't think we could ask for a better testimonial around how to make money, how to have less staff, or at least staff that doesn't have to know all these different technologies, and so that you're able to scale your business on really what will be known as the future of IT. Yeah, and then one more thing that's important in this particular case, <clears throat> the $30,000 that company saved, after about nine months into it, they decided to grow and implement it in a different location in New York City. And they were able to buy two more appliances and put them in two different buildings. And that's how much they have confidence in the product. So for us, it makes us look good when we provide a product <clears throat> that we can stand by and then have repeat orders from the same customer. And one of the biggest reasons, I heard rumors that uh, there was actually some internet outages and the, the failover and the multi-WAN capabilities Yes. Worked like a charm, and at the end, the support agents, the customer care agents connecting with the other customers, they didn't ever feel it. Yeah. And so even though there was a full-blown ISP that went out at one of these call centers, I think there are four or five different locations, yep. you know, the business continued to run. And when you're talking about small business or distributed enterprise, that's usually not the functionality that you get. But leveraging open standards and open source, as well as closed source, you can realize some of those benefits. So again, we're grateful to talk with Mark Warburton from Proji Pro, and we look forward to helping you as a future partner be able to understand why this makes sense as it has for Mark over the last four plus years.